My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 40 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at inequalities. If I say 2s is equals 4, this implies that 4 is equals 2s and 2s is equals 4. And you can actually prove this. If you divide both sides by 2, s becomes 4 divided by 2 equals 2. If you substitute the value of s in this equation, which is 2s is equals 4, you will have 2 since s is 2 times 2 is equals 4. 2 times 2 is 4. So 4 is equals 4. You can therefore see that the value of 2s is the same thing as 4. And 4 is the same thing as 2s. This is an equation. But inequality tells us whether something is greater or something is lesser than or something is greater than or equal to and whether something is lesser than or equal to. In inequality, if I say 2s like this, like this represents greater than, it means 2s is greater than 4. If I say 2s like this, like this means lesser than. 2s is lesser than 4. If I say 2s, it means 2s is either is greater than or equals 4, but it is not lesser than in any way. If I say, it means 2s is lesser than or equals 4. In this case, if 2s is greater than 4, it does not mean 4 is greater than 2s. If you reverse it, here will become 4 is lesser than 2s because 2s is greater than 4. Unlike equations where if 2s is equals 4, it also means that 4 is equals 2s. So, when you reverse the order of operations in inequality, the sign must change. A question comes to mind. How do I answer questions when it comes to inequalities? The way you answer questions under inequalities is exactly the same way you answer questions under equations, like we've been doing under polynomials. However, for inequalities, when you divide both sides by a negative number, or when you multiply both sides by a negative number, the sign will change. So the change of sign is one of the differences between equations and inequality. And the second difference between equation and inequality is what I just explained here. If we reverse the order of operation in inequality, the symbol or the sign will change. But for equation, it will not change. Ladies and gentlemen, let us begin looking at jam past and likely questions on the inequalities. The more we solve, the more we understand the topic. And jam expects you to know analytic and graphical solutions of linear inequalities. Anytime you hear linear, you should know that the highest power of variable is one and jump expects you to know quadratic inequalities with integral roots only quadratic inequalities is simply inequalities where the highest power of variable is two in a polynomial where the highest power is of variable is raised to the power of two that is quadratic and integral roots means only real roots whole numbers positive numbers integers these are integral roots because in quadratic equations or inequalities you arrive at complex roots. So jump doesn't expect you to know complex numbers when it comes to inequalities. You only need to know the integral roots. Now let's take a look at this question. We are given this inequality to solve 
for the value of B. You ask yourself, if I were given an equation to solve, if this were to be equal to, how would I solve for the value of B? If you are able to answer that, that is exactly how you are going to answer or solve when it comes to inequality. Look at this. Here we have B, here we have B, here we have B. Why here is a whole number. It is therefore imperative for us to collect like terms. Take the like guys to the same side of the inequality. That would be B over 4 minus 3B over 7. Here is minus B over 2. As everything moves down, it becomes plus B over 2. This is greater than or equals 4. Now, if I have 5 plus 2 minus, this minus is affecting only these two. If I have 2 minus 5, this minus is affecting only 5. Why for 2 plus is what is affecting it. Take note of that. Looks minor, but it's important for you to understand it. From here, when plus minus are separating two or three values, what comes to mind is LCM because these are fraction. The LCM of 4, 7, and 2, that will simply give us 28. 28 divided by 4 is 7. 7 times B, that is 7B. 28 divided by 7, that is 4. 4 times 3B, that should be 12B. So here is minus, minus 12B. 28 divided by 2, that should give you 14. 14 times B, that is 14B. So this is greater than or equals 4. 7B minus 12B plus 14B, that is 9B over 28 is equals greater than or equals 4. 9B is greater than or equals 4 times 28 when you cross multiply. And 9B is greater than or equals 112 because 4 times 28 is 112. At such, dividing here by 9 and dividing here by 9, B becomes greater than or equals 112 over 9. So the value of B is 112 divided by 9, as seen in option B. So the value of B is option B. That is the correct answer. What are the integral values of S which satisfy the inequality? Minus 1 is lesser than 3. Minus 2 is lesser than or equals 5. What are the integral values? This is a 2 in 1 inequality because we have two inequality signs. The first one here is lesser than and the second inequality sign is lesser than or equal to. How do you answer questions like this? Anytime you have inequalities with two different signs and you are asked to find the integral value, this is what you do. Start from the beginning, right? Like this and move until you get to the starting of the second symbol. You write it out. Minus 1 is lesser than 3 minus 2 is. Now start from the ending like this. Be ruling down until you get to the beginning of the second symbol. From beginning to the beginning of the second symbol. This will give you 3 minus 2s is lesser than or equals 5. So this is the complete inequality. 2 in 1. From the beginning, you go down to the beginning of the second symbol. You pass the first symbol. You write out what you have. Then start from the end. Begin to come down to the beginning of the second symbol. You write out the other part of the inequality. You therefore solve them separately. Remember, we solve inequalities exactly the way we solve equations, except that when you multiply both sides by a negative number or you divide both sides by a negative number, the sign will change. Or when you uh, change the 
order of arrangement, the symbol will also change. These are the differences between equations and inequality. Here, minus 1 is lesser than 3 minus 2s. Collecting like terms, minus 1 minus 3, because as 3 moves to this side, it becomes minus 3. This is lesser than minus 2s. Minus 1 minus 3, that should be minus 4. So minus 4 is lesser than minus 2s. If minus 4 is lesser than minus 2s, how do we get s? We divide both sides by minus 2. So dividing here by minus 2 and dividing here by minus 2, what are we doing? We are dividing both sides of the inequality by a negative number. As such, it will change from lesser than to greater than. Minus 1 divided, minus 4 divided by minus 2, this is 2. It is no longer lesser than, it is now greater than, because we divided both sides by a negative number. Minus 2 divides minus 2 is 1, so s remains. If 2 is greater than s, what does that mean? It means that s is lesser than 2. We've solved this first one. Let's see the second one. From here, collecting like terms, minus 2s is lesser than or equals 5 minus 3. Collecting like terms, minus 2s is lesser than or equals 5 minus 3. That should be 2. Mm, yeah, 2. So, we have to divide both sides by minus 2 to get the value of s. If you divide here by minus 2 and you divide here by minus 2, here becomes s. Since we've divided both sides by a negative number, it is no longer lesser than or equal to. It becomes greater than or equal to. And 2 divided by minus 2 is minus 1. So, the values of s are s is okay 2 is greater than minus s s is greater than or equals minus 1 which means minus 1 is lesser than or equals s if s is greater than or equals minus 1 minus 1 is lesser than or equals s so can we combine these two inequalities of course we can but it is not necessary for this question, but let me just show you how to combine inequalities. The combined inequalities becomes minus 1 is lesser than or equals s, and the same s is lesser than 2. If minus 1 is lesser than or equal to s, and s is lesser than 2, what are the values of s? The value of s will therefore be s is greater than or equals minus 1 which means s can be equals minus 1 s can be 0 because minus 1 is greater than 0 is greater than minus 1 minus 1 is greater than or equals minus 1 and s can also be 1 but it says s is lesser than 2 s is not up to 2 so the values will be minus 1 0 and 1 these are the integral values of the inequality in other words, look at it this way. For the first part, s is lesser than 2, which means s is either 1 or lesser than 1. And for the second boundary, we are told that s is greater than or equals minus 1. Although s is lesser than 2, the lower limit is it is greater than or equals minus 1, which means s can be equal to minus 1, s can be 0, which is greater than minus 1, s can be 1, which is greater than minus 1, but s cannot be 2 because we are told that it is also lesser than 2. The values will become minus 1, 0, and 1, as seen in option B. So these are the integral values that satisfy the inequality. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of this episode. I hope you found this class helpful. See you in the next episode where we shall still be discussing inequalities. Thank you.